Hello, George. Hi, hey, hey, we're Matthew. live. Yeah, Hi. I think so. Uh, so this is a weird live today because originally we were supposed to live to do the live, uh, but in Greek in a different channel. But due to technicalities or me not planning accordingly, as usual, uh, you know, YouTube channel needs 24 hours before you're able to live stream in a brand new channel. So I didn't do that in time. So we were like, okay, let's go English again today. So no difference to me. It's fine. Yes. I mean, we are used to speak English here. So, uh, so we welcome all of our English speaking friends. And today me and George, we're going to talk about security again, because we have done that once in the past. We have this time. We're going to try and not scare people. We're mostly going to try and create awareness because the last time we did it, I think we sort of scared people into like trying to explain the danger so that they stop thinking that it's something that's not important because it actually is. And we'll go a bit into that. So. Yeah, you're, you're, you're right about that. We kind of scare people, but I think it's hard to not get scared when it comes to online security and even cyber security in general that I um, would like to dive in today and let's put the disclaimer again that we're not experts, right? I'm not a cybersecurity expert by no means. Uh, you know more about security, George. I know more about it because I'm a coder, but again, I'm not certified or anything, but obviously I'm, I have to know more about it just because of what I do sort of. Yeah. So we work with websites, we work with digital worlds. So. Um, my idea was to have a discussion around security in general and just in order to bring some awareness. And um, if you are Greek and you're watching us now from our Greek friends, we're going to make this live again also in Greek soon. So stay tuned for that. So today I have some notes and I have some questions, George. Um, so, and if there's anyone that knows more about us, your comments are more than welcome. Of course, we are here open to learn new things always and to learn about cybersecurity and uh, online security in general. Uh, so in our line of work, we work with websites, we build websites, right? You are the DV guy, I'm the Elementor girl. Oh yeah, but I, I am but forced on Elementor right now, so. Uh, yeah, you're forced. I, I actually have a new client that requested Elementor and he doesn't want anything else. So I'm yeah. stuck with your little tool. For yeah. the time and being. We, we got someone that has, uh, I mean, we also get people that they have a website in DV. So, of course, let's say we are web developers. We work with yeah, yeah. developers. That, that's a thing, right? We're web developers. I have a computer science background, so I code. It's not, it doesn't make a difference to me what it is, mm. but we have our tools to be more efficient and we, we have tools of choice, if that makes sense. Yes. That exactly. doesn't mean we can't do X, Y, or Z. We, we just decide which one we're faster or better at so that we're done faster, if that makes sense. Correct. And since we're going to focus on security, there are many times that, you know, we discuss you and me with each other. I, I ask you stuff about how to make a website. So, no, well, we talk about the security of a website, how to make your website more secure. And in one of the previous um, in one of the previous uh, lives, we talked about how to make your WordPress website safer. We have a common grab Elementor cloud website for your new client, George. No more on security than an only nine. Yeah, I'm aware of um, mm -hmm. Elementor Cloud, but I think they already have an Elementor Pro license, so it's not up to me. The site's already sort of going, but um, I know about Elementor Cloud um, due to my involvement with Web Squadron, another YouTuber that does Elementor stuff. If you know the guy, um, I heard about it. Looks cool. I have ideas about um, Elementor Cloud. Maybe hosting would be a good idea. Um, when I need people that don't want to buy the license, we'll see what happens. Yes, uh, because I at work, we have also licenses, so we don't um, really need cloud. Uh, however, it is a very good solution. I do 
for people that don't have that haven't bought a license or anything uh, the elementor cloud website it's good I, I do recommend it and it's a great comment thank you nicholas and uh, uh hi robert welcome robert um, Lee is here yes and uh, it's a bonus live it was not scheduled or anything we just wanted to talk about security well i just kind of said george what are you doing tonight let's go live and talk about security <laughs> yeah she literally just said to me how are you tonight do you feel like doing a live let's go and it was exactly. done that's exactly. how these things work because we work all week so it's just and yeah. something has family stuff so it's not really a you know we don't actually schedule anything we just start something with us yes. while we're talking yeah you know yes correct how it goes so in the past, when we were talking about WordPress or, you know, websites, um, uh, I, I don't want to stay too long on the websites because we have already covered it. But a few things to remind is that how important it is to not use admin as your username, <laughs> like login security for your website is very important. And um, how important it is, George, to not use admin as your username. Oh, my like, God. <laughs> Oh my god what kind of question is that um i uh, because nicholas mentioned it there's actually a it's not a bug but at least they haven't fixed it yet on elementor cloud because i was watching a, a mm -hmm. you know a demo of it the initial username is admin and um i sort of freaked out because that's not normal like you should never ever because there are never, ways in wordpress ever. There are ways in WordPress to get the password if you know the username on occasion. Yes. I'm not going to explain how, but it's possible. So please don't use the admin username as your username, if you don't mind. Um, and uh, also make sure if you're using WordPress, make sure to install WordFence. And yeah. there you can set and don't use admin as your username. And you can actually set to block automatically uh, login attacks uh, of uh, usernames that are trying to use the word admin. Yeah, I, I have done that. WordPress will actually tell you you are using username admin that is insecure. Please change, and then you have to do the technical part where you go into the database and change it. But unfortunately, on Elementor Cloud, it's not yet possible to access the database. So even if I wanted to, I couldn't change it right now, which so is mean, sort of scary. Yeah. So you mean you can change your username, but it will stay the old in the database or you make a new user name and the original well, yeah, is still yeah. there? A, tri a trick you can do, assuming Elementor Cloud allows you. I don't have an account yet, so I don't really know. Um, Hi, Sustin. Hey, Sustin. You, uh. um, you can create a new user and sort of call it whatever. Mm -hmm. But the admin will Bobby still be there. Whatever you want, but the admin will still be there. I hope you can delete it. I'm not really sure that you can get that. Um, I'm not saying anything bad about uh, Elementor Cloud, just to be clear. It's just things they have to sort of fix. There are yeah. some things that they have to fix. That, that's yeah. all. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. all for it. Like, I would buy it tomorrow if it were possible and if the client, rather mm. than wasting time with hosting and stuff, I can just buy that. But mm. uh, I hear you. Yes, correct. Yeah. Good point. So yes so security in our line of work is very important and it's not only about the website that we are building right but also about our files it actually struck me today and you're going to say duh of course strike me that you know besides having the website safe and as much as possible and try to protect it uh, we like the company the developer the freelancer we have to keep our files our computers safe as well right like maybe that we should start from there start from the yeah. basics okay. and take backups of our drives and our files uh, yeah exactly you should have backups like this is going to sound stupid my, but i have uh, an old computer both my hard drives burnt out um two weeks apart from each other and if I didn't have backups, I would have lost all the client work I was working on, or everything. I'm not going to say how I have my backup set up for security reasons, but obviously exactly. um, yes. I had them, which meant I could go to the computer store. I could buy a hard drive. I could stick it in my computer. I could do a clean, nice format. Robert, does this remind you of something? And then, <laughs> um, and then I just... 
restore my backup. Your, yes. Yeah, I restored my backup and I knew how to restore my backup, obviously, because mm -hmm. um, when you do a backup for anything, you should know that it works. So anyone that has a website, whatever your host is, I'm not even going to tell you what mine is because I prefer specific ones, but that's beside the point. You should actually try and restore a backup once before your site actually breaks, just so you know how to do it. Because That's, if you don't, yes. you're going to start crying and having a like heart attack, if that makes sense. Correct. That is a, a great point. Um, because it, when something goes bad, if you have crashed like your website, you have lost your files and you don't know how to do the backup, well, panic is the first thing that happens, right? Oh my God, what has happened? Where are my files? And when you are in panic, you cannot think at to be least I, yes to be honest so i i do this all day so i usually just tell the person calm down it's fine i know what to do relax exactly just relax exactly. just breathe yes. for a second and i'll do it for you but if you're not that person and you don't have me in your back pocket um you, exactly you're gonna you're gonna start crying literally yes so it's good it's a very good point what you said that do the process once so that you know what to do that is correct. And when it comes to backup, I have said it many times. We have said it many times. It's the three to one or one to three, like one local backup, one on an external drive, and one on the cloud to be covered. Because then if something breaks, you have at least two alternatives. Yeah. yeah. That is like the number one thing about security. And then the other thing I would say is very important, especially for what we do. We're going to say we, we do websites, right? So I'm yeah. going to talk in that aspect. It you can you can have all the security measures you want in your WordPress store. It will it can still be hacked if your hosting company doesn't do its own security. I'm not going to mention names, but there are hosting companies that care so much about the client that they will fix a problem they hear about before uh, before the 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 actual like core linux team fixes it or whatever right so you have to look for a good hosting company it doesn't mean because somebody says a hosting company is good that it is and to be clear i've i've been with hosting companies that weren't good and when something happened and i noticed they weren't gonna help me or they lost people's data or whatever i was like goodbye Next one, thank you. Mm -hmm. And at some point, you get to the point where you know a good host and you say, okay, this is my host. If you want to go elsewhere, that's fine. I suggest this one, but don't expect me to fix it for you if, for example, your host doesn't have backups. Because if it doesn't, it's not my fault, essentially, right? Yeah, how can you do? Yeah, exactly. And usually the cheap hosting provider. If you go for the cheap alternative, uh, you have to expect that there maybe are not the best in making backups well depending it's better that you do your own backup as well yes like use plugins there we're using a certain plugin there are other plugins out there or other backup website backup solutions you can do that as well i do recommend it because then it's easier it's faster than going into your hosting provider and do the restore which is of course it's possible but it's also easier or faster if you do it through wordpress uh well we are using we're not we're not sponsored so it's not an advertisement we can say names um, yeah, i don't want to because that's not the point people have to understand that mm -hmm. they have to research who they if they don't know what to look for they can ask us for tips that's fine i'll give mm -hmm. them what they have to look for like our mutual friend in greece um she just asked me okay what should i look for when i'm looking for hosting because i suggested my house but for mm -hmm. her that might have been too expensive or whatever it might not have helped her company or mm -hmm. whatever and i said just look for these sort of traits have backups have this have that i'm not going to mention them now because that's not the point mm -hmm. but what i'm saying is that is you know you you can ask people who do the work to tell you what to look for if you don't know what to look for yes it does make sense for me and I hope for our viewers. And that is something that I wanted to, that is my goal and vision with those live streams that I would like to do around security. That's uh, to spread the awareness that we have to be careful and we have to take measures to protect our data, our websites, our own 
personal data, our business data. It doesn't We don't have to know everything, but we have to know that we need to research certain things. You have to know that your network not at work has to be secure, that you cannot be hacked or accessed from third parties. And you need to know that your website needs to be safe and secure. And you need to have an inventory of what programs you're using. So if things go south, that you can restore and do backups, stuff like that. And I hope you agree. Like, um, there, there's there's a lot we can discuss, but the main thing don't is, have time. How many yeah, hours do we have? <laughs> we, we don't have enough time. The I might be 150 when we're done talking about every single small thing I can tell you about that you should be worried about. But for we'll example, make it a series, live video series. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But but still, like I can tell you that in America you can spoof a phone number, right? So having SMS verification on your website is a bad thing. In the United States, what you should be doing is having OPT, like uh, one-time passwords, mm -hmm. on a Google Authenticate or something like that. Because in America, you can hack SMS. In Cyprus and Greece, maybe you can't yet hack um, SIM cards and stuff. Or maybe you can, and I'm not telling you about it. But what I'm saying is, um, you can't really. <laughs> You can't really trust SMS. Actually, WordFence, the plugin we talked about, that's for security in mm -hmm. in WordPress, they actually discontinued SMS as a security measure because it's no longer safe. I can I can spoof your card if I'm in the US, and I can be you for like. So and that is when it's used for two uh, two effects, factor, yeah, two effects uh, authentication. Yeah. Yes. So the best uh, way, the better way, look, the best solution, or what we suggest is that you get the an authenticator app that every time you get a new code when you try to log anything, it instead of an SMS. Anything that's time based, like if it expires in five minutes, that's fine. Yes. It, because whoever has access to whatever that is. Mm -hmm. If it's if it's not you, like if, if they don't have your phone in five minutes, that code expires, so they can't find it, even if they intercept it somehow. It can't be used within three minutes, within one minute, within. Correct. Yes, correct. For Google Authenticate, it's something like thirty seconds, I think. <clears throat> I don't know the time, but I know what you mean. Yeah, it's valid for a short amount of time. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I had that also when I was playing uh, World of Warcraft. You know, yeah. logging with an extra security yeah, measure that's, and you had the, that's the fine. blizzard authenticator but, but yeah. you see that's um that's the thing you should do that on everything i was yes. listening to something the other day where i heard that the ceo of a, of a big company was using the same password on his paypal on his personal email on his work email and all that and the company lost all their money because yeah. They had access to the person's. He was even using I don't know how. Don't ask me how. The same password for his bank account, which sounds insane to me. But okay, the bank alerted him to that because they have securities for like fraud and stuff. But the thing is, the guy had access to his email, which also meant he could change his address or the phone number where the SMS would go in his bank account or whatever. You know, it's just. Don't don't use the same passwords. And even if you do, use two-factor authentication. Like I have to literally come steal your phone to be able to get onto the app and like you know, open yes. your bank account or whatever. Don't moral of the story, don't use the same password. That that is yeah. very true because yes, if they uh, steal your password, they then they have access to all the services that you're using. Use a password manager or use two factor authentication with an authenticator up on your phone they probably hacked like a stupid application they used or a game or something and they got that password and then they thought they oh let's go try like his email his bank let's see what happens and they, exactly. they were lucky enough to steal the money right yeah i was reading one of those funny things that circulate on uh, not funny um like uh, on Panda BuzzFeed uh, website uh, on Facebook. And it was an article that has uh, gathered like stories of people that had quit their jobs and they closed their email accounts instantly and they lost all of the files uh, or, you know, those security things. It was mostly the case that I, I left my two weeks notice, said the person, and then the boss decided like, okay, they're going to cut all of, cancel my email account. But they said, 
I, uh, the person that quit said, don't do it because it's connected to many files. It was one kind of those stories. One of those stories, it was a woman. Uh, no, it was a network in a company and it was the network uh, technician that tell the story that there is this company and when they set the network they just used like a home router to build the company so uh, internal network was i don't know 10 20 people working and uh, the cloud their cloud solution was a dropbox that it was connected in one email account and they were using everyone was using that same email account for Dropbox and then the person that owned that account she quit or retired she was old and then she went on holidays and then she noticed that her Dropbox was getting too big and she started deleting files so she deleted <laughs> everything from that company because the company didn't have the that's funny brains to set a proper network with backup files it's not and... brains it's it's the wrong policy like something if you if you leave the company you're working now you're working at right now right mm -hmm. you have all the passwords if your boss doesn't say, okay, Xanthi, I fire you because I don't know, I hate your guts for today or something, who knows, right? And she doesn't have a policy that says when Xanthi gets out of the building, I have to force her to reset the passwords or she, I have to set as the boss or as the next IT person, reset everything because Xanthi yes. shouldn't have access to anything because I hate her guts now. So. Mm. Yes, you know. so you have to yeah. think of those situations in advance. You build a company, it doesn't matter if you're one, two, three, five, twenty people. Uh, think uh, in advance the worst case scenario. You lose an employee, you get hacked, something crashes, you get on fire. You have to have a contingent, conti help me pronounce it. Contingency Con plan, yeah. No. Yes, that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, a list of things, uh, actions to do. Um, Another thing that companies don't actually do is they don't actually tell you that you shouldn't work from home, which they should in our case. Like they shouldn't. You they shouldn't should. Work. They should. You, you should work, work from, from home. home. No, no, you shouldn't. You, you shouldn't, shouldn't work home. Yes. Because presumably you wait. You work eight hours at that company, right? Mm -hmm. So, if you work eight hours and you go and work at home as well. That means you have your passwords at home as well, which means if I hack your home computer, which you don't really care about because you don't have the company security on your home computer, right? Then I've got access to all your company stuff as well. So it's not always a good idea to allow an employee to work from home. For us, it's very easy to get into that because we we feel we feel like we have to get things done. So the boss is happy the next day when we get to work, which is not a good thing. But but also, even if you have a computer uh, laptop that you bring home, you're still not safe because if someone hacks your home network, then they can yeah, exactly, also access exactly, the laptop. Exactly. So it... Because your company security presumably is set up much harder than what your home security is because you have your your family playing on your Xbox. But if I'm smart enough, I can hack the Xbox to hack the computer. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, Thank you, Robert. Sorry. Yes. Thanks. Robert. Yeah. Thanks, Robert. Um, so yeah. Um, I don't I don't care about my home computer. I might be sharing my music right now. And if someone wanted to and if they were smart enough, my neighbor could probably, if I wasn't smarter than he was, hack my music library and listen to my music and I would be sound asleep, right? It it's not the same thing as if I was working in a company and we have this major firewall to keep people out or whatever. Sersing mm -hmm. uh, has a nice question, but it works with VPN, right? To work from home at home i mean well of course you can work from home as long as you take precautions or you know extra security but what happens with the vpn well a vpn is a good thing but it's also a bad thing what do i mean by that if i was if i was you don't know, scare to... people george don't scare no, no, people no, again no, no vpn is a good thing right it's always a good thing but the problem is what happens if i want to trace a hack like for example your company's in Sweden, right? You go home and you use a VPN and you connect as if you're in the UK, for example, and you're doing work stuff. Let's say um, the company get hacks, gets hacked three hours after you were working, right? And the hack originates from the UK. How do I know that's not from you on your VPN instead of, instead someone, of like someone random, right? So someone in the UK hacked a U 
K network that happened to be your VPN connection? Yeah, exactly. Come on. Okay. Yes, I get no, it. No, no, no. This is not. A... This is not as far-fetched as you might think. Okay. Because sometimes WordFence, the plugin that protects your WordPress website, will mm -hmm. block you because it it has that VPN in the blacklist, right? You don't oh, know that. Oh, that's someone from a VPN yeah. is trying to access Some you. random guy was using the same VPN as you were. He was mm. doing malicious stuff. You guys mm. were on the same address and boom, you're locked out. It's not as random as you think because it's happened before, is what I'm saying. Yes. Question, George. If I connect from home through my phone, which is my phone, I share my data from my phone. I have like, I don't know, 100 giga, let's say. So I, there is no problem. Limit. Okay. Yes. Is, is it a safer? data connection? Is it a data connection? Yeah, it becomes a hotspot. Yeah, yeah, but is it like 3G? It's not Wi-Fi, uh, is it? Yeah, 4G. 3G, 4G, 5G. So it's data connection. Yes. Uh, it's not safer because they know more about you than you think. From your data no, what I what I mean is that it feels safer because, and I'm not talking about, yeah, on my phone I am connected on social media. So if someone hacks, no, someone if someone hacks my social media, it's not like they have access to my network on my phone. No, no, it is a it is a different network, but they might have enough information about you to, to figure do out where social... you, yeah, yeah to do social engineering, engineering, which we can talk about another day, but, but yeah, it's, uh, it's yes, let's, things, yeah? because I'm also confused with all those things. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's one of those things. Yeah. Um, what else did I have here? I had this, I mean, the agenda questions here. Um, Go ahead. yeah, well, it's cybersecurity, the thing that, uh, I would like to dive in, not today, today, let's just cover the basics. Yeah. You're just we... skimming the basics. Yeah. Yes. And so but cybersecurity, it's not only about having your website safe or your company safe. It, what exactly does it cover? It's scams, phishing? Well, okay. Cybersecurity is anything that can, you know, utilize, can be utilized that's online that can damage you, your reputation personally, your family, mm. or, or your business. Right. Yes. So, so cybersecurity is actually a lot of things. It can hack your social media accounts that you have for work or for personal, let's say, and through yeah. that they can have access to family material. If we're yeah. talking personal data, also. Yeah. Um, and if you're, if you're smart enough, quotes to use the same password on your cloud as you do your hotmail and they hack your hotmail and all your personal don't. stuff on your cloud they have photos of you and they take your head and they put it on a i don't know on a cow and they have it on the internet i'm just saying a cow because i would say a murderer if it was me but you know what i'm saying they, they could do stuff to you if if you keep yeah. using the same stuff the same password do you know i did one day i actually went to my uh, explore, uh, Chrome, explore, to Chrome, where you know it saves all your password. I know, yeah. I know, I'm not the only one that is using Chrome um, save password function, save your password. Yeah, most and people do. Yes, and um, I went in and I, I wanted to review my passwords. Of course, I, I am guilty of using the same password in many services but yeah. i deleted many because i was like what is this account where did i log in there why do i use this email but there? wait um deleting it from chrome doesn't actually no help no if you don't i went to the website oh, okay. to you. the website to good change it there so yes as you said very good point if you you don't just delete it from your chrome that doesn't do anything you have to go to the website whatever is that facebook is this uh, uh, you order pictures online, something, you order clothes online, and it saved your password. Go to that, to the home, to, to the basis, to, 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 the, to the source of where you put your information and change it. And um, it took me a lot of time. The amount of websites that I have created a, a login for is enormous. So, uh, uh, but I do recommend that you guys 
and girls do it and review your passwords, change it and go to the source and change it. Testing says something. Um, so I work in healthcare, I handle very sensitive information and we have had people work in other countries for us. This is, I'm a medical secretary. I do believe that our security people had looked into it so that it's secure. Yes, I, I'm pretty sure that, yeah. Yeah, but your but your security people probably have a thing in place to tell them that, oh, this is Kirsten's computer, but she's using a VPN and her current VPN address is XYZ. That's the difference. Then when I try to figure out who hacked an institution, right? And they say to me, oh, but my but my employee uses VPN, so that might be him. And I'm like, yeah, but you're guessing. It might also be the Russian hack you're looking for, right? It, it no, I'm, I'm guessing uh, for Cersei, in certain cases, working in like in the Swedish healthcare. And I do believe that, I do trust the Swedish technology systems in the healthcare. Um, but, mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. What what I'm saying is, it's 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 in her case. I'm sure her company has a way of knowing that even if she's using a VPN, it's her. She, they ah, know that they can her. track that Cersei yeah, used exact, that it's that not IP. a yeah, yeah, exactly. That it's not a Russian hacker that was doing that. Or yes. Yes. I said yes. Russian, but I didn't mean anything by that. Just in case no, but, you're Russian. No, I'm but that's a you. very good point because uh, hold that thought. I have a, a top five kind of countries of hackers. Yes. And Russia is on number three, so it's. Well, I didn't mean to offend anybody. I, I'm, I'm no, it's, okay it with. Is, yeah. You can, you can hack if you know how to hack. You're welcome mm. to give it a shot. But you can be a Cypriot uh, or a Greek hacker. <laughs> Hackers that hack don't tell you they do mm. believe me. <laughs> the good ones, yeah. Uh, no, but I was listening to a very interesting Swedish uh, webinar. Uh, that got inspired me to do this uh, show and um, it was a professor yeah, you and they see, asked when she doesn't him, work, work to do on Friday she listens to podcasts and then she drags me into lives on Sunday you see oh, that's, pretty how much, pretty much it happens, <laughs> yes. that's how this happens that's how this happens so I was reading this security cyber security um, webinar and it was a professor from um, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Koteho, Cersei, you know what it is. It's it's like a technological, the Royal Technological University, something of Sweden, Kunglika, how do you? Is that my son? My son might appear. I don't know, we will see. Um, and they ask him, what is the number one country that is doing attacks, like is hacking? And he said USA. And uh, followed by well, it was his opinion. I don't know. I don't remember if he had some data, but, you know, uh, it was a, a tie between China and Russia. But he said that probably China. Either China, Korea, Russia, like that sounds but, like. Um, but it was most probably, he said, like uh, USA, and then it was um, China, and then Russia. Uh, but he also said, like, it could be also UK. He did somewhere in the list, and even Israel, they're good in, you know, cyber yeah. attacking attacking but some countries also good in securing so yeah they didn't ask him that so he didn't answer that i'm sure yeah oh, okay. um so yeah so yeah it is I a very a long of, discussion of secure ones which are nice to know but the cyprus isn't like most uh, the most secure one i think the last time i checked was um actually like Belgium or Ukraine? I don't remember which one, but I, I was watching a TED talk and it was like, uh, it was like, oh, I uh, I hacked all your credit cards. The guy said, and just to show you what I mean, I'll open this guy's account that's sitting right in front of me, and he just selected a random guy like in the back, and he said, oh, tell me your name. Do you want me to tell you your how much money you have in the bank? That was a really funny TikTok. Yeah, um, I think I think I have seen it. Uh, oh no, it was not. It was something. It's an old I... one. It's not. It's not new. But what he was trying to say is that you guys were having fun. You guys were walking around. You didn't think that I was doing anything. You didn't see me. I didn't have a computer. I didn't have like a special suit on to tell you that I was doing something. I did it, and you didn't notice. Like. Yeah, I don't know if it's the same. I was watching a TED talk, and yeah, but he was mostly doing it with social engineering, trying to figure out what his credit card password no, no, no. was. No, 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 no. He, he didn't different... do any. Yeah, it's a okay. different one. Mm. He like literally said, "Tell me your name," 
and he typed in the name and he told him how much money he had in the bank and he said to him do you want me to make it disappear and the point of his whole thing was i can hack you without you telling me anything but your name which you can find on facebook if you know the guy's face right i can take a picture of Xanti, i can run it through google lens and i'll probably find her facebook profile for me mm. and i'll know it's Xanti siraku who until a week ago i may not have known who she was right yeah it's scary. And if, I'm a, if i'm a good hacker then i can probably find her swedish social security number or whatever the equivalent is of that and then it's maybe, easy to, I, I'm not saying I cannot imagine. Maybe I can. Too maybe hard. I can call Sweden and say I'm her husband or something, and she died, and now I need access to her bank account or whatever. You know, that stuff will like not that. be like, that easy. I, no, I'm, I, joking. I'm joking. However, what you just said now, maybe we should keep it for a different episode. Yeah, because this is a uh, social engineering hacking. Yeah, it's, it's uh, heavy. Scamming it's heavy. people. I agree. Uh, and they are doing campaigns here. I mean, I don't know campaigns, but they're trying to educate people uh, to be critical about the source. Where do you get your information? And also in Greece as well, they do that. Um, don't click on any links on emails and we will never ask you for your password on the telephone, like if it's the bank. And however, what you said, maybe that can be a bit easier to I, I don't know. It, uh, can you can you searching? Uh, so your social security number cannot be found. It's not public. But is it one of those things that if you buy, if you pay, you know, they have directories here in Sweden with your name, like yellow pages that you can find me, you can find my address where I live, you know, stuff like that. Uh, but it blocks some information that this is hidden. But if you pay, it opens it. I guess you have to have some kind of, it's Europe, so you have GDPR, right? So you would have to have some reason for that. But um, Yeah, I haven't done it, so I don't know how it works really and what kind of information you're using. Yeah, but, I, but I'm you saying are, well, I can buy a domain, right, for a, for a client, mm -hmm. and you can do a lookup to see who's got it. And because I'm, I'm in the EU, it won't show you my information. No, no I, I don't. Oh. It will uh, tell yes. you where I bought it, but it won't tell you my address, which I've submitted to them or whatever. I, I don't mean that. I don't mean that. Here in Sweden, they have a very, um, they're very open. We, they're very transparent. Everything is transparent. So they have directories like yellow pages where you can search my name and you can see where I live, my address, you know, those things and a, and the map and also services by her flowers. Oh, she's 43 years old, you know, oh because they God. have. Yes. Oh, my mm. God. Yeah. Uh, so, and <laughs> however, for, however, um, they are working a lot with uh, cybersecurity in general. So, but that's, but they yeah. maybe it's, uh, I think it's people need to be educated. We, I don't say I yeah. know everything. That's the whole point How about the stream, right? It. We're trying to figure out what to sort of be aware of and even if something happens to someone we know or even to us or even to you know Stamp we stories. we are sort of in the space but mm. we we aren't experts but if if we can if we can at least like go live and say oh guys this is happening um be careful tell like, yeah. tell your loved ones about it like do i even have to talk mm. about the united states where the stupid irs scams are happening and all the it it happens in Cyprus now as well. They call us what? from Microsoft saying that they are renewing our subscription or some random BS. They called my dad, who is old, as in he's in retirement. I'm not going to say his age, but they Correct. called him. And as soon as yeah. he, he heard English and he heard the word Microsoft, he gave me the phone. He knows English. He speaks English very well. Oh. He could have talked to her just fine, but he heard the word Microsoft. So he said, OK, computers. So this is yours. Oh. And he gives me the phone. And it's some random Indian that it's says she's Indian. Emily from Microsoft. Oh. Yeah. And I'm like, Microsoft doesn't call you. And I, and I actually lied to her because legitimately I know I said to her, look, I work at Microsoft. Tell me your employer. She gave me one. I Googled it. It was invalid. She said her name was Emily. That ID belonged to some random other Microsoft employee. I said to her, you're not Emily. You're in India somewhere trying to scam my dad. 
So don't call me again, because if you do, I'm tracking the phone, which I wasn't, but she doesn't know that, right? Because I'm, not, I'm not set up to track her, right? Correct. <laughs> it does make sense. Let me, Microsoft is not going to call you like exactly. 99%. I, I work with Microsoft when I set up people's like um, Office 365 and stuff. You have to submit a support request in a secure place in a form that they give you to your license and they will call you after they tell you we are going to call you in 10 minutes from now and the person's name is going to be you know whatever. and you have uh, probably that code that they will ask or give yeah, you for exactly. authorization so you will know exactly so it's not going there so and microsoft is not going to call you randomly ever they will never call you they don't need to they don't care about you they they make money just by sleep. They don't and care. not only Microsoft, but other technical companies. If you get a phone call Northern, from someone yeah. saying that your subscription is expiring, put your information, give me your credit card or something. No, just no, say no. First say no, click, don't click it. Even if it's something legit, it's okay. Say no and then okay, fix it later on. Yeah, yeah um, you can fix you can fix stuff that you 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 know. But just, just say mistake. no. <laughs> say no, generally, because yeah. that has actually happened where the person, has, they, they kept calling her, right? It, mm. it was giving her a Microsoft number. I said to her, that's not a valid Microsoft number. And since I did not, as your technician, submit a request to Microsoft, they would not be calling you because they don't know you. They know me. So yeah. if, if they say anything, they would have said, George told us to call, which I would never do because the person doesn't have enough technical knowledge to even speak to them. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, oh, seriously, I don't get that reference. A uh, bit blue eyed, both literally and metaphorically. It's, that is something, um, some metaphor that I don't get an expression probably about Sweden. You're a bit um, blue eyed. Easily. Ah, uh, I know what or, you mean. Uh, easily, what is easily convinced. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, <laughs> because people here are kind of honest, and I it is um, at least in my experience, it's seldom that I get to see any. Of course, there are criminals everywhere, but the majority people are honest. But in Xanthi's beloved country in Greece, they stole eighty thousand from a guy that had a legitimate business. He was a bit old. But they convinced him that they were Microsoft, that he owed them money, mm. and they stole 80,000 euros. Yeah. Well, those scams, of course, they have happened here as well. Uh, sending emails, pretending it's your bank, and, you know, with the right logotype, click here and log in to yeah. don't lose your money. And, of course, you log in. And By the way, they, if somebody then... says log into your bank, just, like, if they say log into your bank, just put the phone don't. out. Yeah, just, just don't correct it. And that actually, I, I would have to say to admit that that's a global phenomenon. People, many people have fall for it. No, I have my clients where I said to them, look, if they send you an email, forward it to me and don't touch anything. And I'll tell you if it's legit or not. Like, correct. That's what I correct. do. Forward yes. it to me. I don't care what it is. Just forward yeah. it to me. Yes, listen to George. Uh, listen, George, uh, I we're having a great discussion, but I'm going to be a party pooper. <laughs> That's fine. And wrap it up because uh, we have an early morning tomorrow. It is 20 minutes to 11. Uh, however, it is a very night. interesting oh. subject. It's almost it's 22 midnight in Cyprus. It's a very interesting subject. And thank you for joining me in short notice. Ah, it's fine. Uh, and thank you everyone for joining us. Um, we plan on, we plan, we do want, we don't know when, but we do want to do more lives. Thank you so much, Robert. And Robert, a side note, I did make some uh, small edits on the <laughs> thumbnail for our upcoming show. So <laughs> I did um, it. If any of you guys have suggestions or want us to talk about something specific or specific cases that you weren't sure if they were a scam or something and you want to, explain the story to us feel free to like um hit us up on social media you can find our channels basically in the description of this video excellent point ask us the question and we can we can sort of discuss it yes correct correct and it, we have... and it doesn't mean you might think it's stupid but most security things happen because people aren't aware that that's actually an issue 
So exactly correct, correct. Uh, so yes, find us on social media. We are streaming in both my channel and your channel. So wherever you want to leave. Hopefully, a I didn't check that I was actually streaming, but I think so. Yeah, <laughs> it should be. <laughs> I didn't so, check. Yeah, it should be. Um, so yes, let's wrap it up and. Thank you once again, George, for your valuable no input. I'm and thank around. you, everyone, friends in the chat room. And uh, stay tuned for more security. Yeah. If you have ideas, throw them away. We can talk about them. Yes. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Talk to you soon, everybody. Yes. Bye bye. Good night.